we're trying to remember how we opened this before. <laughs> My name is Giselle Ferrin. I am Poppy Chairman at Branch 76. Mm -hmm. This afternoon we're going to Walking. introduce mm -hmm. our memorabilia we cabinet focusing on World War I. It should, it yeah. But now, been shut for so long. Yes. We need oil in here. Oh. We need WD-40, I think. Okay. These things have all been, how could I say that? Uh, you de -armed. know, de-armed. <laughs> but this is um, from the 8th Battalion Winnipeg Rifles, and this would have been what they used in World War I. So that was issued to them. This is uh, ointment for gas. Um, in Vimy, or at Vimy, the Germans used um, gas, mustard gas, and this would have been issued to all the troops. And as it says here, use as soon as possible, rub in vigorously for not less than one minute. Now this one, okay, well again it doesn't have, but it's a picture of von Heidenberg and I'm not sure if it was replicated or an original, just the fact that it's, um, they had a lot of um, China back then. He was a, um, I believe, uh, in the German army, he was one of the ones who um, was actually in charge and uh, le led the charge on a lot of allied positions. Uh, and this is the rock that I was telling you about. They actually comes out of the tunnel. That's exactly what they, they saw on, uh, in the tunnels okay. where the soldiers were. It was good news. And it was bad news. The good news was um, it t turned the tide of the war uh, for in, in the Allies' favor. Uh, favor. And the Canadians, they, this is when we pretty much made our mark in history. It defined Canada as a nation, Vimy did. The next item that might prove interesting is the trench knife, which the soldiers used to, while they were in the trenches, to actually dig themselves um, either a wider one or to help them get out of the trench. So this was commonly used by all of the soldiers in World War I. So this would be the one item that everybody had. Um, then we have uh, the helmet worn by the pilots in World War I. Um, and aviation was brand new then. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It was... Um, hit and miss and, <laughs> and stop and go and uh, you know it was nothing like we know it today and uh, yeah these were the true pioneers the ones that went into the air I think anyways um, and then I have um, a letter at that time the troops were not supposed to tell the people back home where they were in case the letters fell into the wrong hands and this was written um, from a, a son to his father on November the 23rd, 1917, and it was somewhere in France. And this is the letter that was donated to us. We have the German, or actually I think it's Prussian is what it is, helmet. It was obviously, and somebody with a very small head. Yeah, that looks like a kid's head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. And the, usually the uh, soldiers that fought with these were on horseback. Okay. Normally you would see them on horseback. But yeah, that's another artifact that uh, was given to us. I have um, a little one, a little granddaughter who's three. When she starts asking questions, it's time to say, okay, this is what happened. This is why we do what we do.